my next introduction is of Dr. Conrad Steffen. Uh, he came to Ceres as a visiting fellow, and a lot of people we'll talk to today have that in common. He became professor of geography, and uh, then ultimately director of Ceres, beginning in 2005 and extending till 2012. He's interested in ice dynamics, and he works on the Greenland Ice Sheet. He has one of the longest uh, on the ice records in existence there. He's left us to go to ETH, Swiss Federal Institute for Forest, Snow, and Landscape Research. And well, I'm interested to hear whether he's happy he left us or not. Uh, Coney was a very successful director. He presided over almost a doubling in the size of series. He's an excellent administrator, manager, money manager, could see details as well as strategy. I think uh, the longest lasting single contribution he made was to preside over a very large expansion of our presence in the field of atmospheric chemistry. Already very impressive, already starting, but now we're going to be way out there. We haven't quite matured yet, but he got all the money together and we have permission to hire. We're going to have 10,000 square feet of newly renovated space with experimental chambers. And he did this. So it, it's a mark on series. Now, I, ha I have also some personal information on series, on, on the, on the uh, former director. And I can't talk about it all, but there's some things here you could ask him about later if he has time to explain them. And uh, with that, I bring up Conrad Steffen. Former director of series. Thank you very much, Bill. I wonder who was that lady. That wasn't one of my grad students. So you have, you have to tell. Oh, okay. Yes, I do. Yes, but but her name was written with a C. It's very nice to be back, even though it's way too short. I was reflecting, what should I talk about? And first of all, I think I want to congratulate Ceres for the 45th anniversary. It's amazing to see this. I do remember the 35th anniversary when Susan was in charge up to the anniversary date, the next day you left on sabbatical and I took over as an interim, so just 10 years ago. And I think that has something to do, so maybe we'll see some changes coming here. My first congratulation goes actually to you, Bill, and to the staff for getting the new cooperative agreement. And I pledge to Philip, just keep the dollars flowing. I think it's worth the investment when you see how Sirius has grown, all the amazing science, all the young scientists. It is an amazing, vibrant place. And Bill was in charge of writing the proposal. I have to admit that because I disappeared on the green ice sheet. When I came back, Bill said, it's done. And this is the interim director who really gets the things done. Congratulations. I decided I'm not talking about science. I'm talking about my highlights. The highlights I can see from the past decade. And I will cover only a few selected activities, by far obviously not compre comprehensive. And my review is completely unbiased because I only left two months and 26 days ago. And it's not about people. There are too many people I would have to acknowledge. It's not about friendship. I made very good friends and this is ongoing. So it's about impressions, events, meetings, and so on. So I have 15 minutes, and you have to give me the flag if I run over. Amazing. For some of you, annual report is a burden. I think annual report is an amazing publication, and I'm always amazed when we finish our annual report how much information is in there. And I'm not going to ask who of you read the entire annual report, but it summarizes actually an excellent activity field of series within that year. It's not only for NOAA, the annual report, 
We actually also make it for our administration that we can show the diversity, so all the fellows and the students, the visiting fellow, actually have contributions. And I think this is a big kudo to our former associate director, Susan van der Runik. She took it to the level I was afraid. I actually told her, no more. It starts to grow in size, in content, and I hope you can keep that. I know the new one is just coming out, or maybe it is already out. I don't know. My next one is the importance of series in knowledge transfer. And I picked just two examples here. There are many, and one of them is obviously the well-known uh, spill uh, from the Deepwater Horizon. Another one is about the water assessment in the West. I think this is unique and serious that we, you do the basic science, but as important, you make the transfer of information. You can say that translation and science or knowledge transfer. This makes series really unique in the standing. It's not the department, but it's not just the research institute. It stays in between, and I realized that when I was in Switzerland, it's a similar unit where we have knowledge transfer between basic and uh, translation and science. Another part I think really sticks out when I look back are these different spheres, and I think you just got another sphere. This is an amazing outreach tool. You can actually show to the public, to the administration, to the people what Ceres is doing in a way they don't need to read an annual report or they can actually find out the different topics. I'm proud to see there are just another one or two coming out. I hope you can keep that up. That was only started about three years ago. Looking back, I think this is really a su success. It makes really the point what Sirius is doing to the public and to the outreach community. One of the tools in Sirius is definitely innovative research projects. It started, I think, under Susan. Obviously, you had too much cash left and you wanted to spend it wisely. You did that very wisely. I have seen many interesting projects evolving out of innovative research projects. I just put this one in. I remember 10 years ago, my grad students actually submitted an IRP, and they got funded to actually look for ice in Patagonia and for ice retreat. But a lot of big projects have actually evolved out of IPIRP, and I hope you can continue that. I can see that as a very important tool to increase the innovative research within Sirius. The Rendezvous Day, and in particular the different awards, I think, looking back, is a highlight for me. There are so many people doing excellent science, doing administration, doing research, and we want to award them. And I think the Rendezvous Day, which started as a gathering from the town hall meeting, became a real success to bring Sirius together. And looking back, that was the day I enjoyed probably most throughout the year, seeing the big group of Sirius coming for the entire day. And it was actually arranged by our uh, researchers within Sirius, and they did an excellent job. Franco is our first visiting fellow, and I think this is one of the jewel of Sirius visiting fellowship, the program. Myself came in 86. I knew Susan Avery came as a visiting fellow. So did more than 100 people. And it's not just the visiting fellow program, it's the networking. It's an enormous tool, and it's a powerful tool to keep your visiting fellows connected to the unit. And I think that has to live in the future, and I would like to see, it says up to 12 awards. I'm no longer in charge of the finance, that's why I say to Bill, it should be up to 20 awards. You can find out if you find the cash for that. The fellows meeting, you wouldn't believe, there were quite a few, I actually chaired 80 fellows meeting, I counted that on my flight yesterday, and I enjoyed them all because the fellows are actually a group of diverse scientists, but within two hours, one hour, we found consensus. 
but also we combined science and administration. We always had the science talk at the beginning of the fellow meeting, and for me that sticks back in my memory as a very successful connection in Sirius. Sirius has grown so large, so diverse. It's very hard to actually stay in touch. And through the fellows meeting or through similar meetings, I think that made a big difference. What also is uh, important for me, which was just introduced this year, was the Sirius photo competition. It's not so much about the competition of nice pictures, but it shows you the diversity where Sirius is working all across the world. It's limited to the world so far, but maybe we can enlarge it throughout the space as well, if there is space research looking back to the Earth. This is a way to show for a one year where are the different expeditions going, the field work, the connections. I just chose one example from Sherry. Uh, from the Arctic, but you will see them, or probably they already lined out in the hallways in Sirius. Seed of Wisdom, this actually just came up, and I'm very proud to see that the seed has been introduced. Unfortunately, I was not yet able to use it, but tonight, Rob, I will sit in the seed for as long as it takes, and I take all the wisdom back to Switzerland. And if the seed will turn white, you know why. It lost its magic. <laughs> Thank you very much, and I really look forward to use it. Sirius has always been known as a big parting group, for good reasons. And I was afraid I was spending all the money on, this is just a slide from our last fellows meeting, I was spending all the money on my farewell party or on Vijay Gupta's. And I'm actually amazed, Bill. You had three parties this week. So I didn't really do a good job. I didn't spend out the budget. But giving three weeks, part, three days parties, I don't hope you feel like this tonight. Because there are more important things to come. Some people ask me how did I make the transition to Switzerland. I just want to spend two minutes on that. Moving back, I obviously had mixed ideas. I lived 24 years in Boulder. Boulder is my second home, I call it. And when I came back, I was really positively surprised. I liked the place. I think Switzerland has grown up after 24 years. It became very international. People are friendly. That wasn't always the case when I lived there before. But I have this picture on my wall in the office. The biggest thing I'm missing is actually the blue sky. Those who actually know Europe, Switzerland, it can be gray for weeks after weeks. That's usually in the winter. So whenever I have a bad day, I look at the picture as a memory and the memory of my good friends here. I would like to finish the small summary with a picture you probably all know. Sirius is a very strong ship. It can float or it can be pulled. It has a strong administration, but even more importantly, it has the leading scientists and staff. And though those in front are usually in charge of the course of the direction. So please keep that in mind. You are a very strong group. There are always hazards at the horizon, so you have to be careful what's coming up but it's worth to have the combination pulling and pushing. You have to find a good medium. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.